February 12th, 2024, 11.28 a.m. I've arrived in Death Valley, and so much has changed since my last visit. A tropical storm swept through the park in August, damaging many roads and leaving a lake in its path. And then more recently, a strong El Nino storm brought more rain in the past week or so. Road crews are hard at work reopening portions of the park, though thankfully the main road and campgrounds are open. I'm approaching this visit with a calm sense of appreciation. As I write this, the wind is calm, the sky overhead blue, with a hint of coolness in the dry desert air. Across the valley lies a snow-capped peak, and between myself and that peak lies a sparkling lake, rimmed with bright white salt. It's time to gather my gear and to go for a wander. So I went ahead and exposed a single sheet of Provia on the scene with the very reflective mud. And I have no clue what to expect with it, but if anything, it really serves as my first sheet of film exposed on this trip. That was nice to get that out of the way on the first day of the trip. But now I'm gonna hike back to my truck, see about uh, getting things organized a little bit and get some dinner going, but not bad at all for my first day here. On my way back to my truck that evening, I found an interesting area with partially dried mud tiles. I framed a horizontal composition, threaded on a three-stop neutral density filter, then waited for the moment when the sun was partially obstructed by the mountains to the west. It's a brief window of beautifully dimensional light, and the neutral density filter allowed me to use a simpler shutter speed measured in seconds rather than fractions of a second as determined by my lens. The battery in my light meter died immediately after making this exposure, but I always carry a spare and was able to make an additional exposure during the calm window of light that followed. Juggling both photography and video can be difficult at times, and in the process of taking these photos, I forgot to turn on my microphone, though perhaps you wouldn't have noticed if I hadn't mentioned it. I return to camp that evening with a sense of satisfaction and look forward to the opportunities that would await in the days to come. The photo of the glistening mud turned out fine, though certainly pushed the limits of transparency film. 
this type of subject is better suited for black and white, but it was interesting to see the results nonetheless. I am quite satisfied with both photos of the partially dried mud, though between the two, my preference is the version with the low angle light when the sun was partially obstructed by the mountains. Not only does this version have wonderfully balanced warm and cool light, I love the added visual element of the shadows from the raised edges of the mud tiles. Thanks as always for watching, and we'll see you around next time. You may have noticed this video has no ads and no sponsors, and I think it's nicer that way. If you enjoy this ad-free and clickbait-free content and want to help me live my dream, a voluntary contribution through PayPal or by joining my Patreon helps keep my gas tank full and my film freezer stocked. You can find more information by visiting my website at benhorn.com slash donate. I also have prints, ebooks, and my annual portfolio is available on my website. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you around next time.